Hey YouTube, Mark here with another fragrance review. This time let's delve into the niche side of things. Let's take a look at the house of Comme des Garçons. Now this is my introductory video to this fragrance house and it is well, well overdue. Um, I've been talking about this fragrance house here and there. You can see a few of their bottles popping in into my top 20 uh, niche countdowns from year to year. And it is well, well overdue for me to review at least one of their fragrances. You're going to see a lot more Come de Garçon reviews from me in the next coming years. So let's introduce the House of Come de Garçon with my first review on my channel. And this is going to be the bottle called 888. Now, this fragrance house is very different. There is a huge cult following on this fragrance house online. Yes, there's a lot of people that absolutely adore this fragrance house. They follow it to death. Um, they purchase every single bottle or at least sample every bottle. And people, some people just absolutely adore the House of Come de Gaston. Well, for me, I'm just a frag head and I absolutely enjoy the House of <laughs> Come de Gaston, but I ain't going to be following no cult. <laughs> so 888. Um, it's supposed to evoke the smell of gold. Yes, yes. Well, gold has no smell, but um, this fragrance is designed so well that it will make you think of gold when you, you sniff this fragrance. So I think it really, the Come to Gelsung really achieved their goal with this fragrance. It really does evoke the smell of gold, even though gold has no smell. So this fragrance house is off the wall sometimes. Really crazy ideas. And this is, of course, a way to introduce it because this is a crazy idea from the house of Comme des Garçons. Let's get to the review and see what 888 smells like. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at presentation of 888. We're going to take a look at the bottle and the box. And the theme for today from the house of Comme des Garçons is gold. And I got to say, as far as presentation goes, they knocked this one right out of the park. Both the box and the bottle are lacquered with a shiny gold hue. So let's take a look at the box first. Now the box, I wasn't lying, she's a shiny. And uh, you see a little bit of information here, 888 Comme des Garçons. Um, yes, I got the 100 mil. You got a little bit of information here. Uh, you got the code right here where my thumb is. That's where she is. Now one small complaint, small complaint about the box. And this is, you know, from a niche house, um, I'm allowed to complain a little bit about, about presentation. Look at this. It's just cardboard inside. Let's take the bottle. Let's put the bottle inside of here. Look at this. No. No. Unacceptable. Now, I'm not asking for like a nice comfy pillow like By Killian does. All I'm looking for is you can just put like a little cardboard cutout so the, the bottle just sits nicely in the box. But that's small detail that probably only annoys me. Now the bottle itself, again, lacquered with this gold, shiny gold plating on it, basically. Um, this is, of course, your signature pebble bottle that Comme des Garçons comes with. Their, usually their signature line, the Comme des Garçons 2, 2 Man, this one, Comme des Garçons 3. You get the picture of the pebble bottle. Now this one, very shiny, as you can see, 888, red and brown here. Um, you got the information at the bottom that's what was on the actual box in your code if I take this off is actually on the neck of the sprayer just to let you guys know that's where your code is um, sprayer very very good on this one let's test her out very very good and very accurate actually so very very nice good presentation they do get uh, a lot of points from me with this presentation this bottle is a eye catcher very very shiny Beautifully done by Come de Garçon. So let's take a look at 888. Let's review this sucker. All right, guys, let's get this review going with, of course, bottle sizes. 888 comes in the two standard bottle sizes. We got the 1.7 ounce and the big boy, the 3.4 ounce, which is this guy right here. Retail price for this fragrance, you're looking at around 100 to $150 American to purchase. Um, again, shop around. Come de Garçon are kind of lenient with their retail pricing. Uh, from one website to another, from actually one country to another, I've seen different retail prices for these type of fragrances. 888, I've seen retail for a little over under a hundred dollars, like 80, 90 dollars. So you could save yourself a couple dollars if you do a little bit of research. This fragrance was released back in 2007. Awards has not won any awards as of yet on my top 20 lists. 
group. This is an oriental spicy fragrance. Pet Fu Me. Um, the Pet Fu Me for Come the Garçon back in the early days was Mark Buxton. He was the nose behind all their great fragrances when they just started out. Now Mark Buxton was kind of started getting busy in the late 2000s with his own niche brand. Um, so Come the Garçon had to look around for other noses. And the Pet Fu Me behind this is a definitely a great up and comer, Antoine Lai. Now, Lai has done a lot of fragrances for Comme des Garçons in the past few years and Etat Libre d'Orange. Um, he is a great replacement for Buxton. Bu Buxton's range is kind of like off the wall and that's how Comme des Garçons got their uh, cult-like following. Um, so they actually found a great replacement for Buxton, which uh, Lai does the great off the wall fragrances. Uh, one fragrance that the community knows very, very well, Secretion Magnifique, yes, he is the nose behind that. So he knows how to put notes together, smells together to actually portray an idea. Um, so that is great for Come to Garçon because they want to portray the smell of gold with this fragrance. Let's see if Antoine can do it. Um, recently, just recently, he actually done uh, Wonderwood for Come to Garçon, but he has done several from the brand. Now recommended age for 888, I would be looking at around 25 to 40 year olds to be wearing this, male or female. This is again a unisex fragrance and it is in EDP concentration. Um, I don't really see teenagers rocking this type of stuff or really older gentlemen, uh, but to each its own of course, uh, anybody can wear a fragrance, but preferred age 25 to 40 I would say with this one. How many sprays and wear? Again this is an EDP concentration so I just go one on the chest, one on each side of the neck and I am set. Three sprays is best for this one. Um, the, it really does give me a lot of longevity and subpar projection. Um, but it does its job with the three sprays. Let's take a look at the notes. The notes for this fragrance is off the top we got pepperwood, uh, we got curcuma, and then we got coriander. In the, may, in, in the mid we got geranium, we got incense, and we got a saffron replacement which is called saffroline. Um, this is a Givaudan synthetic for saffron. Um, later in the review I'm just going to call it saffron. And in the base we got amber and patchouli. So let's get to it, let's smell 888. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think this fragrance smells like. All right guys, it's time to tackle what 888 smells like. Uh, before I put the camera on, I sprayed this on my hand right here, put it back on its pedestal. Uh, it was kind of hard to put it together, so I decided to do it off camera this time. Um, but I do have the fragrance on my hand right now. Now, what does it smell like right off the bat? Now the top is, it kind of confuses you because you get a watery green feeling right off the bat. Like the first few minutes of this fragrance is almost very fresh and invigorating. You're like, wow, this is gonna be really good for spray. Then something happens. <laughs> the metallic tinge in this fragrance shows up. There's like almost a peppery, spicy feeling in here. Um, it's almost bright and airy, but at the same time the spice is peeking through and you can tell that the spice is going to be a dominant note in this fragrance. I can definitely detect some geranium at the start. It's not overly strong and I can definitely detect the saffron in this fragrance. Now saffron is not my favorite note in fragrances, you guys know. Um, the one from White Oud just totally turned me off of that fragrance. Um, this one is kind of different from the one of White Oud but still the same general aspect of it. I just don't like saffron in my fragrances. It almost smells, if I could describe this top note, it almost smells like an expensive shampoo. Yeah, um, it smells like a really expensive shampoo. Now this is almost gearing towards the feminine side of things. Um, I would say that it's more unisex because it does have some spice to it, but a lot of guys that don't like unisex based fragrances are not gonna like this start. But be patient. Wear it on your skin and give it time uh, to dry down on your skin because it does man up a little bit in the mid. Now, what else do I feel in this top note? There is the curcuma that does show up. Um, curcuma is like turmeric. If you don't know what that smells like, it gives you out almost like a floral but a bitter smell. Um, but the main players in here are definitely that metallic tinge, pepper, a little bit of spice, saffron, and that's basically it in the top. Now in the mid, it does man up a little bit. It quiets down here though. Um, it's more of a skin scent now. Um, that top note does project fairly well, but in the mid, it is a skin scent. And this, this fragrance, once it turns into a skin scent, it's over. It doesn't project at all anymore. Um, it brings out the saffron or the saffroline 
uh, tenfold, and it is the main note in this mid, and you're gonna smell it from top to mid. In the bass, you smell a little bit of it, but uh, definitely, if you don't like saffron, this one is definitely not for you. There is some coriander in here. There's a little pinch of amber in this mid note. The metallic note is in the forefront of this fragrance, again, from top to bottom. The incense is there, but very weak. Don't think this is a dark incense-based frag. It is not. The incense plays a very small role in this fragrance, but it does man it up a little bit. The spices stick around, yes, of course. At parts, this fragrance in the mid, which this is going to be the weird part of this review, it made me picture of the color yellow. Now, not like bright yellow, almost like a dirty yellow, almost gold-like, <laughs> which, which is weird. Um, almost smelled like dried mustard. You know what dried mustard smells like or looks like. That kind of smell or feel. No joke, guys. This is very much off the wall and crazy, but it does remind me, again, it kind of reminds you of a gold bar, which is weird, even though gold has no smell. Um, it does remind you of that. Now in the base, the base is fairly simple. It dries down to that amber. Uh, has a little bit of powdery feeling. Um, and there's some patch in here, not, not too much patchouli, but it is there. So basically in a nutshell, this fragrance does go overly feminine right off the bat. When you start, start off with this fragrance, it might not be for you. It mans up a little bit in the mid, not too much. It's definitely unisex and then in the base, it kind of comes back to that feminine feel to it. Um, so this is definitely not for everybody. It is off the wall, a little crazy, but very, very unique as a fragrance. So let's get to it. Let's see what I think about this fragrance. I'm going to give you guys my two cents. All right, guys, it's time for the overview on 888. This fragrance is watery. It's peppery. It's got a metallic tinge to it. It's got a huge dose of saffron and some spice, and it's got a weird mustard note in there. <laughs> um, it really does invoke the smell of gold or makes you think of gold. Um, they really did uh, nail this one out of the park with a weird concept but it's weird to make the user think of that. And Antoine has done it again, again with Sigurdus Yo Magnifique, and with this one, he does grasp the concept very, very well. Now this fragrance is for people who like something a little different, a little off the wall in their fragrances, but again, they want to stay a little bit on the safe side too. Um, I've experienced a lot of niche fragrances that just push the envelope way too much that a lot of people are just not into it. This one is more safe. A lot of people are going to like this and if you like just a small aspect of your fragrance to be a little quirky, this one is for you. It's a clean fresh scent that starts off with almost a perfumey vibe. Um, remember when I said it smells like almost like shampoo? Um, it does start off with a feminine side but then it, it warms up quite quickly uh, with the spice. It would take a man with a great love of the Comme des Garçons house or someone that loves a metallic tinge to their fragrances to really appreciate the artwork in 888. It's well blended, and then again a little odd. Uh, you get tons of freshness and floral, but then in the next minute you get a huge blast of spice. Um, sometimes this one warms you up, and sometimes I wouldn't say it cools you off, but it does give you a fresh aspect. Um, great transition from Come to Get Some with this one. Some fragrances, you know, you got tons of freshness and then right off the bat it's like a herbal spice bomb. This one, no, the transition to one aspect to another is well blended by Come to Get Some. Uh, Antoine has done his job with this one. Uh, the top really introduces the feminine aspect to this fragrance. And then again, all you men out there, give this one a chance. Let it dry down on your skin and see what you get. You might find a jewel instead of just wiping it off in the first five minutes. Um, and then again, yes, more dries down, the more masculine it actually gets. Now, why would you hate this fragrance? There's a lot of reasons why I hate a fragrance like this. This is off the wall. So, uh, like most Come de Garçon fragrances, it has a synthetic tinge to it. Yes, that metallic mustard-like note, kind of different. Um, to me, it's more of a woman's fragrance, manned up a little bit, but I know a lot of my female subscribers are going to flip the script on me and they're going to say, no, this is a man's fragrance that has a little feminine tinge to it. Um, and that's a great aspect to this fragrance. It is very much a unisex fragrance. It's strange, it's different. The metallic feel to it may not be for everybody. Um, some people actually compare this to insect repellent. Yeah, so it might be really, really bad for you. Now, a new feature to some of my niche reviews, I'm gonna do it only on niche reviews, is a pricing factor. Basically, I'm gonna let you guys know, is it worth the dough? With niche fragrances, you gotta, look at the price. 
This one, I gotta admit, it's, I'm not sure it's worth the niche pricing. Uh, you're looking at 100 to 150 dollars. I can think of almost hundreds of fragrances that I'd rather wear than this one for the price. I'm um, looking at the Come to Gelson House. I can name off already on top of my head 10 fragrances that I'd rather wear than this one. So for me, I think the pricing factor is not worth it for 888. But again, it all depends on taste. For me, it's a no-go. One word to describe this fragrance: metallic bottles. Um, this is one great factor about 888. I could not find anything from my collection or in the men's section of fragrances that really invokes what 888 gives you. Um, I'm going to kind of give you like a, a feel of what you think. This is all for my designer heads out there that are interested in this. The top note of this fragrance really reminds me of Issey Miyake, uh, L'Odyssey Puram meets Azaro's Chrome, the metallic feel to it. Throw that in there. Plus a little bit of Burberry the Bee. Put a little bit of pepper in there. That's just the top note of this fragrance. So you can tell how this fragrance does have a lot more to it. But that's kind of like a, what this kind of smells like. Now, best time to wear this fragrance. I really enjoyed wearing this when I was testing it out for the past few years. Um, I really liked wearing it daily um, in the springtime. I really enjoyed it daily in the springtime. A summer night, this one is perfect for me. Um, I did wear it in the fall. Um, during the day or at night, it was actually really, really good during those times. Compliment factor on this guy is, surprising or not surprising, was very, very poor. Um, <laughs> I asked a lot of people what they felt about this fragrance. Um, it was either A, negative, or it was just, it was nice. Nobody jumped out of their seat and said, give me that gold bottle, I'm running away with it. No. <laughs> Um, which wasn't really surprising. Then I told them what this fragrance was supposed to evoke. Of course, with the, the gold bottle and the gold bar. Um, does it really remind you of gold? Nobody got that. But again, these are people that are not highly into the fragrance game like us. Um, they just felt like when they smelt it, some people said, hey, there's something something weird in this. And then I like, <laughs> and then I tried to describe it to them. Um, but either way, compliment factor was very, very poor for 888. Now, my two cents on this fragrance, where should I start? <laughs> I think after many wearings of this fragrance, I, I will admit that it's very, very unique. It's well blended um, and it deserves its place in the Come de Garçon lineup, yes. But then again, at the same time, I believe in this niche game, I needed more from this fragrance. I needed more from Come de Garçon. 888 did not do it for me. I think this is a subpar niche fragrance for the price, let alone one of the only ones from the Come de Garçon house that I really just did not do anything for me. And this is a bad intro, <laughs> intro to this fragrance house on my channel. Um, I absolutely love some of their releases. You will see full reviews on them very, very soon. Uh, but this is a, a poor introduction to the house. I really was, I blind bought this early in my niche game. Um, I, I was appealed with the nice shiny bottle, we'll say. Um, I believe this one would be best worn by a woman more than the man. I think my rating is going to be mostly for you guys out there. But for the women out there, add a couple points to the ratings because I think this would actually be best worn by a woman. I don't hate this fragrance and by any means. I don't hate it, but then again, I don't love it. Uh, with the niche game, if I'm going to be spending a hundred plus dollars, I need to feel excited about wearing a fragrance. Uh, you know, for niche to spend the type of dough, and 888 did not do it for me. Every time I was testing this fragrance, I was like, not this one again. <laughs> but I really enjoyed uh, how different it was. Definitely, I was like, how did they get that? Making me think of gold. <laughs> marketing. <laughs> the bottle. Marketing. Uh, but it, then again, this is what it is. It just doesn't excite me. So this concludes it to pie chart pass this fragrance 888 from come the garçon sadly is going to be a pass for me and for you guys um if this one really does sound interesting to you especially for all the women out there women viewers out there try it um if it does if you feel that this is going to be exciting to you you feel yes i need to smell this fragrance try it by due means um it is quality but at the same time it's not for me so it's a definite pass for my channel um, this is my review on 888. Let's get to the rating system and see how this guy does on the rating. Thanks for watching.
All right, guys, let's rate 888 projections, six bottles out of 10. Kind of disappointing for an EDP. Um, this one gives you a nice scent bubble for the first few hours, then it turns into a skin scent. Longevity, solid, eight out of 10, eight to nine hours every single time. Versatility, another good score of an eight. Three seasons out of four, I can wear during the day or at night. Overall smell, a six, kind of disappointed in the scent as far as a niche scent goes but it also had great transition and it did keep me entertained throughout the fragrance this is for the metallic lovers out there it's strange but yet not too crazy it's not the best from the come together song house i wear this primarily in the spring the fall and a summer night overall score i'm going to give this one a seven sniff it out but it's still not the best on the market